Hello and welcome back to the Legend of Matazuto, Fall of the Conqueror. Last time we found a new character, Lexia, who is a uh, essentially a side character, but we also progressed in the story far enough that now we're in that uh, phase where all we need to do is collect the rest of the masks. Now in between the last episode and this one I actually went over to upgrade the weapons of most of the team members because uh, we had enough weapon points for that so they are a bit so they're a bit stronger now also I updated the skill points just a little bit but other than that nothing has happened in between now we are supposed to talk to the Toraga to find out where the masks are but I believe there is one in Gali's Bay and all we need to do to find it is to use the Miru. Now this is something I'm uh, saying on the basis of memory. I just remember that there was a mask hidden here somewhere so that's why I... yeah, and I was right, it's a Kakama. A black Kakama, so that's why I decided to come here first. And we got an upgrade stone as well and we can save now that we have the mask. I still have Onua and Luca in the party, but we might actually change it around a bit d depending on what we need. Of course, we will probably keep Onua in the party since, well, hashtag Onua Gali shipping, but we might change Luca at some point. Perhaps it might be interesting to try out Lexia, but also the the other Toa needs some experience because of you know they all have to perform individually in the end game, so that's kind of important. Now, okay, now here we can go down again and leave the bay, and then we're gonna switch to the Kakama. And I think we're going to start from Onkoro, or should we start from Pokoro actually, because Pokoro is further. Actually, we're going to do that. We're going to start from Pokoro, and for that we're going to equip our Kakama. Okay, now we're all set. Alright, we made it to Pokoro, and we're going to talk to the Draga. Welcome, Great Toa. What brings you to the athletic po Pokoro? Okay, let's ask if Pohato is enough Kenobi. Let's see. Why, yes. Yes, he does. Have Pohato see me soon. So we already have all of Pohato's masks. That's actually kind of convenient. Descend, Toa of Stone. Soon you shall ascend as a legend. Behold, our Toa of Stone. Wow, that was actually... <laughs> that was quicker than I thought. So, Pohatu already had all his masks, and he has his golden mask now, which is really awesome. Now... Uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna play Koli now. We already tried that in the Cabana Tropic. Let's get back to Gawahi. Oh, the desert path is long. <laughs> Alright. Now that we have... Pohatu's golden mask. I think we're next we're gonna go to Onukoro. It seems kind of logical since it's close by. We haven't really used the ossels we have so far, but you can only use them in the Cabana. You can only use the ossels in Cabana Tropic, so maybe when we go to Le Koro we'll try them out. And we have that one ossel named Ma who is in great condition. Oh, no, now that we're here actually, let's go for the speed boosts again max out the or try to really increase the speed of one of the members and I don't know if that's gonna be Onua or someone else now where is Wenua? I think he's here let's see if Onua has his masks Toa how may I help you does Onua have enough Kanohi let's see Onua is missing his Kanohi how 
Okay, so we have to find a how here. And how do we do that? Okay, okay, okay. The how is in the safe area of the ice trail. The ice trail, so that means we need to go to Kauai. So I guess I'll see you guys there. So here we are, yeah, ice trail. Let's see. Where is the how? It's supposed to be here somewhere. Um, I do not see it. Oh, it's here! Okay. It was well hidden indeed. So now that we have the black how, I guess I'll see you back in Onuko. Toa, how may I help you? Does Onuo have enough Kanohi? Let's see. Why, yes, yes, he does. Have Onua see me soon. Descend, Toa of Earth. Soon you shall ascend as a legend. Now bolder and stronger than ever, our Toa of Earth. So, Gali's date is now holding the Golden Kanohi. And it is prime time to save here and next I think we will go to well why not Takoro since that's where this path leads yes. alright since oh cave to Onu wait this is not the path to Takoro oh yeah we have to go yeah, right. Oh. I was mistaken about that. We could have gone to Lekoro, of course, but... Now, let's see... Yeah, this is still not working. Like, we can't go to Vakama's hut. I do think he's somewhere else. So he's in the pub, I think. Yeah, he's here. Hello, Toa. I am Turaga Vakama, the village elder. Are there any questions I can answer for you? Uh, what will happen to Nakudo? Nakudo? Yes, I heard what happened. Only time will tell, Great Toa. This I know, however, it will not be a pretty sight. Okay, well, let's ask if Tahu has enough Kanohi. Let's see. Tahu is missing his Kanohi Kakama. Okay, so he doesn't have Kakama. Let's see where that mask is. Find the Kakama by ex exiting Pokoro and following the path into the desert. Oh dear, okay. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Did he mention the Kakama again? And following the path of prophecies. Okay, so he gave like two, two hints there. So, wow, okay, we're going to have to return to the desert. So, I guess I'll see you guys there. So, here we are, close to the Path of Prophecies, and true enough, the Kakama is here. So, now that we have that, so, yeah, see how close it is to the Path of Prophecies. We could have <laughs> found it ages ago, but just didn't. But now that we have the Kakama, I'll see you in Takoro. Does Tahu have enough Kanohi? Let's see. Why, yes, yes, he does. Have Tahu see me soon. Descend, Toa of Fire. Soon you shall ascend as a legend. Behold, our Toa of Fire. So, Vakama's disappeared from the pub now. Now that Tahu has his canoe, can we still? not go into the, his hut we still cannot go into his hut and we still walk through through the door in a weird sort of way this part of this village really feels incomplete to me like I, I don't know why that is but it just does anyway now that we are done with Takoro we're gonna go to we are gonna go to Lekoro. 
next because it seems like a logical thing to do. So during the... Oh, okay. That was the help option, I think. So... It went while I was going to Tokoro from, I think, Pokoro, I stopped by the equipment place, the upgrade shop, and I upgraded Onua's claws a few times. And now they're actually really powerful. They hit... They actually hit four times instead of two now, which is really... Which is uh, really cool and really helpful. He basically takes care of most of the enemies himself. Now... Okay, we're really close now to Lake Koro. Are we already at the edge of the village? Probably. Let's save in between. Alright. I'm pretty sure we don't have all of Lewa's masks, because I don't recall there being very many green masks that we've found so far. Okay, let's... Oh. Alright, let's go to this square and visit Matau. Toa Heroes, what brings you to the to Tree Bright Lekoro this day? Oh, we could ask about Wakapu. What if Wakapu? Wakapu is a dark schemer. He creeps in the shadows, waiting for the perfect time to strike. No Le, Ma no Le Matora knows his location, or if he may return. Alright, let's ask about the Kanohi. Let's see. Lewa is missing his Kanohi Kakama. Only his Kakama, okay. Uh, Kakama. For the Kakama, try Powahi on the path that leads deeper into the desert. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just came from that path. Oh my goodness. Alright. This means that I will go all the way to Powahi to get the mask. So... Yeah, see you back here, well, see you in the Powahi Desert. Okay, so we finally found it. Here it is. The green Kakama. And embarrassingly, I actually went all the way to Pokoro and started looking from there rather than this path right here <laughs> where it was. So yeah, I feel really foolish right now. Anyway, uh, see you guys back in Lekoro. Actually, we haven't taken this path yet, so I think I'll just uh, show it how it looks like, because we haven't been here before. So let's see what's on this path. I don't know if we're supposed... I don't know if we're supposed to go down here. You do not have a green or gold ossal crab with you. Okay, so we need an ossal too. So there are some areas that are only accessible within Ossol, so I guess it would be worth it to uh, worth it to try look for them, but it's kind of difficult. It's the Huramafa River. Maybe we're not gonna f run into any more Rahi, please. Okay. Oh, there's a mask here. A green how? Oh. Matau didn't mention that at all. So maybe he only mentioned one. He only mentions one at a time. So we're kind of lucky that we... We're kind of lucky that we ran into it by accident. Okay, let's see how... Okay, this is how we get to Lake Koro, probably. Okay. Oh, we end up here. Okay, let's hope that we have all Lewa's masks. Does Lewa have enough Kanohi? Let's see. Why, yes. Yes, he does. Have Lewa see me soon. Descend, Toa of Air. Soon you shall ascend as a legend. Behold, our Toa hero of Air. So, Lewa has all his Kanohi now. I wonder if we could... I wonder if we should go to the Cabana Tropic at this point. To check out the ossals. 
So let's just see what the Ossal thing is all about. So I think the Ossal Benning Square, yes. So this is where we need to come. Hi, welcome to the Ossal Racing Square. What would you like to know? How do I race? The controls are simple. You use the directional keys to move and shift allows you to sprint. Sprinting drains your Ossal stamina, stamina though, shown on the right. So use the shift key wisely. Enter will let your Ossal speed up and you'll lose stamina and escape will let your ossal slow down. Another good tip is this. Orange crabs don't do well through bushes or in the water or on ice. Blue crabs, how blue, blue crabs however, are at their best in the water. Green crabs can pass through bushes easily and white crabs do not slip on the ice. Gold crabs do well in any area of the race. There are four levels in racing. Win three races in a row in levels 1 through 3 and you'll advance to level 4. If you win 10 level 4 races, you'll be rewarded with some very useful prizes. That's pretty much all there is to it. Have fun. And we are going to try this. Uh, I'm sorry there's no record of you owning any ossal crabs. Are you serious? I have an ossal crab. Oh, come on. I guess there goes my plan of becoming an ossal race champion. Yeah, we better get back to searching for masks. Um... Are you serious? So yeah, going into that inn still triggers the event where Onua, you know, uh, asks you... <laughs> well, well, where Onua agrees to take you to the Cabana Tropic and it teleports you there and you can't access your menu anymore, so... It basically glitches out the game, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go and ask if Kopaka has all his masks. Welcome, Great Toa. What brings you to the icy Kokoro? Okay, let's ask. Let's see. Kopaka is missing his Kanohi Pakari. Okay, let's see if where if we can find that. The how is in a place from which? Okay. The Pakari rests in Kowahi. Okay. I think it's just the Pakari that's missing. And it's in Kowahi, so that really doesn't help us much. I mean, Kowahi is quite large. I really hope it's not in the drifts, because that would be absolutely horrendous. Because the drifts are a pain to go through. Now let's see if we can find the Pakari. Received white Pakari. Wow, it should not have been this e this hard to find. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Oh goodness, well. I'm glad we found it. And Kokoro is not far, so we're just gonna go and get Kopaka's golden mask. Let's, uh, does Kopaka have enough Kanohi? Let's see. Why, yes, yes, he does. Have Kopaka see me soon. I shall translate Nuji's words. To of ice, you may now descend into the Suba. Behold, Matoran, here is our Toa of ice with his golden Kanohi. Oh, that was a weird transition. The people of Kokoro cannot thank you enough for everything you've done. Okay. The music keeps playing. <laughs> the victory of getting the golden mask. And this means that all the golden masks have been found aside from that of Gali. And since Gali is the protagonist, She's of course the last one to get the to get the golden mask, but now we can do that. So Gakuro is not far away, so let's just go and um n no 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 
Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, we've escaped that. I love this game, but sometimes it drives me crazy. Anyway, we are back to Gakoro now, so... We're all good, we're all good. And there's a save point here, let's save immediately. And get Gali, Gali's mask. Gali, there is something you must know. We know where your how is, but we do not know yet. We do not know yet how we can retrieve it. Agent Windsor found the mask. Koto reported that she saw him deliver it to Tailua. She was so frightened. Where is he? Where did Tailua go? He went it in the direction of the Mangai volcano. You can get there through the back alley of Takoro. Tailua is ruthless and very powerful. However, he is very wounded. He has lost the use of his left ankle, and with it, his power over speed. I pray that this advantage will help you not to be killed. All of Matanui is counting on you. We will not let Tailua kill us. I give you my word. So Tailua has Gali's last mask. And we know where he is, so let's go there. So the back alley can be accessed this way, I think. So... Is it this one? Or this one? Yeah, the back alley is here. Alright, so... He's probably where we saw the Kofo Yaga. So that's where we shall go. No, he's not here. Okay, I... In that case, I don't know where... I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Well... Ah, my eyes! I can't see! Okay. Come on, stand up. Thank goodness my legs are still work. My legs still work. Ah. Ah. I must make my weakness my strength. I'm making this personal now. You and your allies killed my best friend, and your guard has rendered me crippled. Now you shall burn until you can burn no more. You see, this is my realm. I cannot be beaten here. Even now, you are losing your power. Then I guess we'd better get this over with. You're going to pay for every Matoran you terrorize and murder, Talua. Never have I met someone so evil and cruel as you. You think that Toa of Water can defeat me? Give me your best shot, Toa. And we get an error message. Okay, so after two error messages, we're finally able to enter the battle. Oh, this... I cannot emphasize enough how... how bothersome this particular episode has been to film. This is my fourth individual take and I'm gonna have to combine it with all the other takes to <laughs> form the episode so crazy crazy it's a, been a really bothersome one but at least we are now nearing the end and uh, I really do like this confrontation between Gali and Talua and the story in general is really coming to a it's really um, uh, culminating in a way in this battle. I mean, obviously there's still more, but this is still a very important, important battle. I mean, Tailua is the one who uh, gave Gali her nightmares. Well, at least partly, I think. And he's sort of the arch enemy of Gali in this. And for some reason, his fire attacks are doing no damage. I don't really know what that's about. But after we defeat Talua we'll have the How and then Gali will have her golden mask. And then this episode will be done I think. And of course after the golden canoe here acquired after that it's all about just you know uh, challenging Makuta and winning. Okay, we are actually kind of weak, so we're gonna heal up with a 
Yeah, this. So yeah. Finally, there was a reason to not use the automatic <laughs> battle. To use an item in between. The Gully's doing quite fine with uh, the automatic battle. Of course, that's because she's crazy strong. We've given, I've given her uh, lots of speed boosts and also attack boosts, weapon upgrades, all that kind of stuff. Speaking of which, we should probably upgrade the rest of Toa as well before we challenge Makuda, because it's kind of important. It's a sh oh, okay, we win. Makua, I have lost. But Kenzor, he shall prosper. And we win. And receive the blue howl. Oh, and we are in control again. And we cannot look at Tailua. Alright. Descend, Toe of Water. It is finally your time as well. Now ascend with Matanui's reward. Behold, our Toa of Water. Uh, do they have something to say? Toa, it is time for you to complete your quest. All of Nakudo's minions have left the island of Matanui, except for Rongsho, who is still a slave for Makuda and Nuilaka, uh, and Nuilaka, whom we just haven't seen. But once Makuda is defeated, Ralin will be back to normal, right? I can confirm it, Luka. We Turaga are not 100% sure of the extent of Makuda's power. If Nakuda were to rise up and replace Makuda somehow, I fear that Rongsho may never be saved. Then I'll have to think of a way to fix that. Where does our journey begin? Your journey bega beings <laughs> begins in your own home. There is a cave at the west end that you have to swim to. From there, you will make your way to the Kininui. Good luck, Gali. I never once doubted you since you landed here. Thanks, Nukama. That means a lot. And, okay. We can talk to... To Luca, but we can save now. And I think this is where we end the episode for now. So we have all the golden masks. It was quite a difficult <laughs> it was quite a troublesome episode getting all these masks but finally we have them and in the next episode we're finally gonna go to the Kini Nui and hopefully face against Makuda and beat the game so I think it's safe to assume that the next episode will be the final episode so really excited for that but uh, see you guys then